important on defense is getting the quarterback and a weak side defensive end of Ken Talley uh, could be uh, the next in line there. 11th rated at his position out of Philadelphia, top 166 prospect, 7th rated in the state, Marty. Yeah, Tally's another kid I really like a lot. Um, he's from Northeast High School in Philadelphia, which current – Penn State grad assistant, former Penn State New York Jets defensive end Dion Barnes used to be the defense coordinator there with Tally, and that played a big role in landing him. As weird as it may sound to people outside of Pennsylvania, Penn State has not recruited Philadelphia well over the years. Um, there is a lot of pull to the south for schools from Philadelphia and for the kids from Philadelphia. So Penn State has struggled to recruit there. So getting a guy like Tally on board was big to help with that Philadelphia pull. Um, the success that Shakatoni had in his collegiate career is a big part of that as well because he kind of showed to these kids from Philadelphia, hey, you can stay home, you can go to Penn State, and you can be successful. And while Shaka obviously is not in the NFL yet, he's going to be drafted this spring, and it seems like he's got a good career ahead of him as a pass rusher. So he kind of showed that you can stay home, go to Philadelphia, or stay home, go to Penn State, excuse me, and still build yourself a successful career. And I think that combined with having Barnes on the staff now as a graduate assistant – both played big roles in them landing tally who could have a big future for them rushing the quarterback. Yeah. It was just uh, running down the Texas A&M 2021 and 22 classes yesterday. Uh, two players for them out of Philadelphia had made it down to college station. Anthony Ivy uh, wide receiver. He's uh, out of Lancaster, Pennsylvania, number 23 at his position. Yeah, Ivy's a kid I like a lot as well, um, which I mean, I know I'm saying that a lot, but when you ever have a class that everybody and it's a four-star hire, it's hard not to have players you're going to get excited about. Ivy, he's not the most explosive receiver in the world, but in a way reminds me a lot of Jahan Dotson coming out of high school. You know, smooth route runner, soft hands. He goes up and gets the ball. He's never going to run past guys. But, I mean, we saw Dotson got into the Penn State strength program, has been able to add speed, add a little more agility to his repertoire, and everyone saw the season he had last year. So, I mean, I think that's very exciting with Ivy. Like I said, he reminds me a lot of what Dotson reminded me of in high school, and I think he can be that just solid, you know, hey, it's third and six. We need someone who we know is going to run a 10-yard ten, ten out, catch the ball, get us the first down. I think Ivy can very much be that guy.